Porridge House Cafe. And that's where we find a better cafe with cake. I told you we should have gone here. We went to the kids' cafe instead. It's a nice courtyard. Yeah, can have a look at the shop. Oh, look at the big horse thing. A teaspoon and some change. Why would anybody throw a spoon? That is so crazy. Little daisies in these pots. Yeah. Sell plants. Yeah. Have a look, yeah. uh, what are these called again? These big ones. Like... Geranium. Ah. Aren't they hyacinths? Look at the horse. I bet you get kids climbing on that. Garden inspirations from Chatsworth. Okay, so this, this has names on. That's lavender. What are these ones here? They're pretty. Scabosia. Mm. Is it a rose? I don't think that's a rose. Oh no, you wouldn't think that's a rose. That's a rose. I don't think that's all. That's not real. <laughs> I got excited then, thinking it was real. One of them funny things. I feel like we're uh, <laughs> we're looking around a garden centre instead of seeing the actual flowers in the garden. I love the acorn bird feeders. I love the acorn bird feeders, but we can't have acorn bird feeders because we have a cat. And if we encourage birds, and the acorn bird feeders. The Chatsworth Rose. <laughs> Forget me not. Growing in the plant. That's, why, that's their idea of buy one get one free. Buy one get one free, yeah. That's quite funny. Shall we look in the shop? Olive, olive trees. It reminds me of the Mediterranean. <laughs> okay, no entry. Please use the other door. What other door? I don't see another door. Oh, it's down there. So we're in the garden at Chatsworth House. I'm going to have a little look. Oh, here is um, a map. It looks big, doesn't it? Mm. Joseph Paxton and William Cavendish, the sixth Duke, made Chatsworth's garden world famous in the 1800s. Sarah Paxton, Joseph's wife, played a vital role keeping their building and garden projects running smoothly when the Duke and Paxton were away from Chatsworth. Appointed as head gardener in 1826, Joseph Paxton was a visionary, visionary horticulturalist. He and the Duke were both passionate about plants and gardens and together they designed new features at Chatsworth that were the biggest and best of their time. Started in 18. 30. Paxton's Glass House, which is just about where we're going to go. Paxton's Glass House. 1834. What are these? That is very strange, but darkly beautiful. Mm. Oh wow, look at these though. <laughs> They're massive. What are they? Huge trumpet. 
Well, we should have put names on things more. This was built in 1868. Oh, wow. What are they? What are they, Ray? Apples? Plums. Oh, yeah, plums, I think. I think you're right there. Peach house. Oh, it's peaches. Yeah. A place to interpret the horticultural achievements of Joseph Paxton. Oh, you can smell. You can smell them now. Sorry, babe. Look at that. Mm. Look at these funny things. What are they? They're like little butterflies. Very nice. Oh wow, look at these. Yes. Lovely as well. Pollinated by hand. Mm. The peaches are hand pollinated with a brush. With the brush? Yeah. Instead of bees? Yeah. Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah. So the East India House, 1834, is the sole survivor of three glass houses built in this area by Joseph Paxton to house the Sixth Duke's orchid collection. Oh, are these the orchids then? Maybe. Stuff only beyond that point. This is the peach house. You can literally see all the peaches growing and you can smell them. I wish I could bottle up the smell because they smell amazing. Literally smells of peaches in here. Oh, actually makes me want to eat a peach. Don't it you, Ray? Whew. It's just such a strong peachy smell. It must be amazing when they're actually ready to eat hanging oh. on the trees. Be nice. Pick, pick your own peaches. Is there anything around there, or, or is that em empty? It's just a walk through, I think. Can we go that way? Yeah. Let's go down the steps. The birds are going mad. What are these things in these pots? <laughs> nope. Don't know what they are. I'll have to look that one up later. Little poppies. They're all... Uh... Oh, that's a columbine. Look, I know there could be some there. Columbine. Oh wow, look at that! So these are saying go away. Yeah. Go away Ray, they're literally saying go away Ray. Which way should we go babes? Go in the greenhouse. I quite like the greenhouses, especially because they're warmer. <laughs> I really wish I'd have worn them jeans this morning instead of a dress. Oh, look, the Laburnum Arch. Oh, I've got to go through there. See down there? Yeah, yeah cool. Laburnum Arch. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. I might take about an hour in here. 1970.
That's all of them. Oh wow, it's very grand in here. Beautiful. Fruit salad, yeah. yeah. <gasps> what are these? Oh, that's stunning. What are they, Ray? Oh, they're so cute. I love them. They're just beautiful. I don't know what they are. What's it say down there? What's it say? Huh? What's this thing here? It's like a big dandelion. Gorgeous they are. And these things here, what are they? Massive palm tree. Variation there. I don't know what that is. Oh, I love these. Yeah, I can see the water in it. <gasps> We've seen them before, we didn't know what they were. They're lovely. They might even come out in flower yet, so a few, yeah. few weeks later. Really Look at the violent. purple up there. Look, Ray. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I've seen that one. They're amazing. These are weird. Oh, I don't know what I am. Hey, a lime tree. Lime. Lemon and lime age, you mean? Stuff only beyond that point. That's lovely in here. We could stay in here all day. See the lines. It's lovely. There's the big lawns. See the Peak District in the back. 
I don't mind, there's just so much to see, I don't know where to go first. Let's go down here, these look interesting. How about we head towards the, the burn arch? Yeah, which is round the back of the... A lovely red bush of some kind <coughs> and these um, I keep I keep forgetting what they're called these purple dandelion flowers I keep call, I'm calling them dandelion flowers because they look like a dandelion clock oh ooh. wow you can see the fountain in the background this is nice I don't know if you can see up there the little people across the top. Oh, it's really pretty. Oh, look at that. Is that some kind of a peony, maybe? I don't know. You can see all the irises. <laughs> Lots of irises coming out, aubergine kind of bushes, shaped bushes. What's this in here? Ooh, interesting chairs. Look at that. Stop and take in that view. kind of a rose. There's the house look. What a sight to behold. It's really beautiful. I'm so glad I've come here. It was expensive but for me, worth it. Project manager statue. Project manager statue? Yeah, delivered what? late and um, over budget. Okay, and which one's the project manager? The one that's getting his head beaten in. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, that's nice. Uh, just for everybody's benefit, um, I am a project manager, so I don't know what my husband is implying there. Okay, I don't know what they are. Very grand, posty things with people's heads on top. Nice. Yeah, I know. I've just zoomed into one of them. I don't know what they are. A little fancy thing. Lovely fountain over there. I'm going to have to have a look over there in a bit. Baked potatoes. Yeah. Well, I don't understand. You will do in a bit. You see that? It's a very grand garden, isn't it? It's like amazing. There's just so much to look at. I just don't know where to go first. <laughs> got the columns up there with people's heads on. Is that a nip Some, slip? Yeah, someone's got a nip slip. Oops. It's inappropriate, right? Oh, there's a lovely pink rose out here, look. There's a dog here on a lead, so dogs must be allowed. Loads of irises over there. There's another statue. Somebody who likes baked potatoes. Okay, so why is there a statue of a baked potato, Ray? Needs cheese. Ooh. Look at them pansies. These are lovely. Are they 
chimpanzees? Oh, I don't know now. They might be them, um, oh, I've forgotten what they're called now. Chrysanthemums? No. Geraniums. Geraniums, that's it. Well done. Geraniums. This is the jacket potato statue. It's made of wood. And it doesn't say anything on it. So it literally could be a statue of a jacket potato. How lovely. Okay. Let's go and find that Laburnum arch. Is it Laburnum? Oh, I'm really getting confused with all these names. Is it the orangery? Orangery, that? I think we have done once. I do remember seeing a potted one. Oh, look at these. Lovely. Oh, isn't this cute? Oh, I can see the laburnum arch. You're going to love this, guys. This is going to be a delight. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. What an awesome idea. That's so beautiful. So your mum was saying she wonders whether they're, they're related to wisteria. Lovely. Lovely view of the house there in the Peak District. Oh, what are these? Some kind of lily, maybe? Or a tulip? I don't know. How are we doing time? How are we doing for time? It's 10 to 12. So we've got an hour before we go in the house. I think, I, don't know, I think these might be tulips actually, aren't they? Yeah, I don't know why. I thought they were lilies at one point, but... Okay. I want to see if I can... You want to go and have a look, don't you? So, what did you say it was? I think, I think it might be an RB211 uh, jet engine bypass fan. Jet engine fan? First, first stage. Okay. Um, why would they have that here? I don't know. I suppose it's quite decorative. Ray used to be an aero engineer. So you used to build these? Yeah. You used to build that? Well, and the rest of it. It's got a lot missing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
But if you've flown on seven, Boeing 747, that would be all the engine fans. So, okay. So the planes that we go on holiday on, you could have built the engines? Years ago, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure I want to go on holiday. No, yeah, it's probably not one. On a plane again? No. no, I'm only joking. I know that Ray was very... Oh, we can go on a little tour. Clever. On a tractor. Tractor tour. It's massive, isn't it? Should we walk round there and up towards the fountain? I reckon I could do a three hour video at this place, you know. A lot to see. So much to see. I mean, we've been here two hours already. Yeah. And we haven't offered, I don't feel like we've scratched the surface. Look at this temple living. I mean, fancy building something like that in your garden. It's all right for some. Oh, look. Oh, look at the tree. Oh, I don't know what she's got on her head. Oh, bowl of something. We've got these big trees here, look. What's it say? The trunks of two camellia planted by Joseph Paxton in the central section of the Conservative Wall in 1850. Cuttings were taken before the plants died and replacements were replanted in the same place after the glass and timber frame has been restored. Okay. That's these here. Yeah. They, uh, they look a lot bigger than cuttings to me. So there's a little tea shop thing. It's just mammoth, this place. Coffee and ice cream sundaes. Why is it when we want a coffee shop we can't find one? And when we don't need one, we find them everywhere. Well, he looks like he's dressed for the sun. Oh, yep. Yeah. He's got his winky woo out. Oh, he looks like he's dressed for today. <laughs> Typical English. <laughs> that, that guy's having a good old lie down there. There's another shop there, look. The orangery shop. Yeah. Lots of kids coming out with toys. Yeah, got plenty of shops here. Shuttle service, look. £3 adult, child £2.50. See? Yeah. Could do, but it all adds up, doesn't it? So £32 each for an adult to go into the house, gardens and farm. Plus £5 for the parking. Plus the shuttle service, if you want to do the shuttle service. Although... The shop. Plus the shop. What about the shop? Bad prices. Oh, but you don't have to. They did do a thing where they asked if you would pay gift aid, and that was an extra £3, but they gave you back a voucher for £4.80 to spend in the coffee shop. So we had a coffee and a curly whirly each. Which came to exactly £4.80. Which came to exactly £4.80. Which was amazing. So that was worth doing. And this is a really grand, long path. And I'm apologising for the noise because there is a lawn mower. He's got headphones on. He's not thinking about people near him, but never mind. There's the back of the house. Look. I've got gold on top of the pillars. You see all the snakes, look? I 
keep seeing snakes. That must be like the symbol. Because there were snakes on the floor back there as well. And gargoyles. Protecting from evil spirits. And the columns look very Greek. This is the bit with the waterfalls. Yeah. 